Hey guys, welcome to my apartment here in uh, Taipei, Taiwan. I know it's a bit of a mess, but yeah, these are the conditions that I live under. Um, I'm using the GoPro to film today, so that's why the wide angle. I'm testing out the Wi-Fi and Android app for the GoPro 3. It seems to work pretty cool. Um, today, quite a simple video. Seven things never to do when freediving. For those of you that are already experienced freedivers, you will already know all of this. But for those of you that haven't done a freediving course yet, but hopefully will do a freediving course soon, this will help you just give you a little bit extra information about some things that freedivers never do or should never do. All right, let's get started. Okay, rule number one, never freedive after scuba diving. Some of us both freedive and scuba dive, but you can never freedive after a scuba dive. After you've done a scuba dive, You've got all this surface interval um, to let your body uh, let go of the nitrogen in your tissue so that you can kind of recover before your next scuba dive. If during that period you go free diving, you dive down, you put your body back under pressure and then you resurface again very quickly and you keep doing this, you put yourself at risk of getting decompression sickness. I know of somebody that has died of this within the last three months, so it does happen. Don't let it happen to you. Never free dive after scuba diving. Number two, never dive with the snorkel in your mouth. This is something I see so many guys doing and it's just, it's always taught, never dive with the snorkel in your mouth. If you've got the snorkel in your mouth, it's harder for you to equalize because you don't really have a surface um, to forcefully blow against. Um, you also, if you do unfortunately encounter a blackout and your jaw clamps down on your snorkel. Your buddy might not be able to get the snorkel out of your mouth so that he can resuscitate you. And thirdly, if you do pass out and you have the snorkel in your mouth, that snorkel acts as a pipe that can pipe water directly into your lungs. So never dive with the snorkel in your mouth. Rule number three, never exhale when you're underwater. Some people say, oh, free divers, how do you dive with no air? Well, the fact is we do have air. We have the air in our lungs and that's all the air we have. So you never wanna exhale this when you're underwater. If you do exhale underwater, you will have no more oxygen left to complete your diet with. Um, you will also lose all of your buoyancy, which will make it harder if you, for you to get back to the surface. And having no air in your lungs and then still going yet deeper puts you at extreme risk of getting a lung squeeze. So never exhale when you're underwater. I personally only exhale once my head has broken the surface of the water. Some divers may say within the last 0.5 meters is arguably still safe. But generally, do not exhale when you're underwater. Never hyperventilate. Hyperventilation is something that um, pre pre gives you risk to, uh, to black out prematurely. Um, I've explained it before in one of my videos, so I'm not going to explain it again here. I'll put the link in the description to that video, but please never hyperventilate. Number five, never free dive after a blackout or a samba. Um, if you've blacked out, your body is all of a sudden more at risk or easier to black out again. So once you do black out, it's time for you to end your diving for the day and get out the water. Try again tomorrow. Never free dive after a big meal. It's the same for all sports, you know, before you do sport, you don't eat a huge meal beforehand. Free diving is the same. It puts you at risk of getting cramps and it also consumes oxygen because your body is using oxygen uh, to digest the food. So it's gonna, it's gonna reduce your breath hold. So if you're gonna go free diving, you know, you can have a light snack an hour or two before free diving, but definitely no heavy meals. And the final thing that freedivers never do is that we never freedive alone. The buddy system is the primary safety system in freediving. And if you don't have a buddy there, anything can happen. You know, a, a samba or a blackout will turn into your death. Sometimes, you know, the diver just gets to the surface, something goes wrong, he sambas and blacks out, ends up face down in the water. He could still have a chance of being saved if his buddy was there to flip him over and take his face out of the water. But if you don't have a buddy there, it's the end for you. So never free dive alone. And that's the one rule that they say if you, when you do a free diving course, if there's one thing that you should learn. It's never free dive alone. Okay, so that was it. 
seven things never to do uh, that freedivers never do. Um, I hope you knew everything already. If you didn't, these are the sort of things that you'll learn when you do a freediving course. Um, in two weeks time or a week's time, I'm going to Palau. I'm hopefully going to make a wicked video. So I hope you guys will hopefully subscribe and stay around to check that out. I'm going to be, uh, I've got something special planned. We'll, we'll, you'll see when, when the video comes out. So just fingers crossed that the weather's good for me and uh, everything goes well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.